Hi, this is Tim from lapsoftheshutter.com and if you've got horizontal lines on your Vizio TV screen then today we're going to cover all of the proven ways to fix it. So hopefully you should be able to do all of this at home without needing to get a new TV. We'll start with the the simpler fixes and then move on to the more complex ones which will be in the uh, linked article in this video's description. The most basic step for fixing horizontal lines is reseating your HDMI and other cables. So you can just uh, jiggle around the HDMI cables. You can try taking them out, cleaning the contacts um, within the TV and within the cables themselves, maybe with compressed air, and then try firmly pushing the cables back into the slots. And hopefully this will solve any, any um, horizontal line issues that you have. If it's still there, then, then try removing any external uh, devices and any external cables, including any coaxial or signal cables. So that means when your TV is on, um, it gets no signal. Then try pulling up the on-screen menu and see if the horizontal lines are going over the menu or if they're only on the signal behind it. If the horizontal lines are, are over the menu itself, then you can move on to the next step, which is power cycling your TV. To power cycle your TV, first unplug it. Then hold down the physical power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power from the capacitors. Leave your TV unplugged for at least 30 minutes and plug it back in and switch it back on. Although this is a pretty basic step, um, pretty often power cycling your TV like this can help fix it. You should also check that your power supply is providing a uh, sufficient voltage and current. Sometimes surge protectors and extension cords between your your wall socket and your tv can input can impact the um the the power that your tv is getting um and if it's getting a, a slightly lower voltage than it expects and this can result in horizontal lines on the screen so try removing any any surge protectors or anything in between your tv and try plug it into a separate wall socket you can also update the firmware, um, so smart TVs have auto-updating auto firmware which runs only when your TV is um, switched off but still plugged in. Older Vizio TVs you'll have to go to the menu button on your remote, then admin and privacy or system depending on your model and click check for updates. If the updates have been successfully applied your TV will restart two times. Uh, but if you're using a smart Vizio TV, then there's no option to manually update the firmware. This should be done automatically. You can also try factory resetting your TV. This deletes any personalization settings, but um, it's worth a shot if the other, fa the other methods haven't worked yet. So switch the TV on. Hold down the volume down and input buttons simultaneously. After a few seconds, you'll get an on-screen pop-up. And this will usually tell you to then release those buttons and then hold the input button for a further 10 seconds and you'll get a, a factory reset. Your TV will reboot and return to the original setup screen. You can also do this with older Vizio TVs using the remote. Uh, so go to menu, uh, then admin and privacy or system and reset to factory settings. If none of those have worked, um, and if your TV is still under warranty, then it's advisable to return it and get uh, Vizio to offer you a replacement. If you're out of warranty, then you can move on to removing the back panel. Um, it's most likely with horizontal lines that the, the gate drivers have failed in some way. So the gate drivers are located along the edge of the TV panel. and They fire each row of pixels in turn, starting from the top. One of these gate drivers fails, you'll see a, a thin black horizontal line for each failed driver. And these are connected to your TV panel um, and to your T-Con board by a ribbon cable and the, the, the contact can sometimes come loose. The gate drivers themselves are not really um, replaceable at home, they're bonded within the factory. But you might find that squeezing the sides of your TV next to the thin black line can make it make the line go away. Um, if this is the case, then you can open up the back panel of your TV and uh, apply some tape to the, the gate driver to maintain pressure on it and maintain the contact. If you're seeing 
lots of coloured lines, um, not just one thin black line, then there's a chance that it's either the the TCON board, the timing control board, or the main board that's got an issue. For further information on this, it's a bit complicated to go into on this video, but you can have a look at the linked article in the video description, uh, or go to lapsoftheshutter.com and search for Visio TV and you'll find it, and hopefully you'll be able to fix your horizontal lines with this.